Yellow, yellow, and welcome to a Timberborn demo playthrough. Uh, I'm Rekba, and thanks for joining me. Just started here, first day on the plains. First thing that I think we need to do is probably mark uh, all these trees to be cut. So let's go ahead and do that. There's no trees growing here yet, but we will eventually be growing some there, so... Might as well just mark that area to be cut. Pretty much all these, any trees that I eventually will get to, I'll just go ahead and start marking, uh, telling them to cut. Next thing I want to do is, like a slave driver, just punch up the working hours to 18 full days. Uh, they only need six hours of sleep. Ah, uh, that's not evil at all. <laughs> but now that we have that, the first thing, we want to go ahead and put a lumberjack flag back in there. Put four beavers on the building for now. Tell them to build a water pump there. A small water tank there. And... Here. And we'll just let them start doing those tasks. I've unpaused it, and now let's just go ahead and tell them to get a gatherings flag in. And then I'll need an inventor's hut. Uh, right here, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm not all bad, I'll let give them allow them to build themselves some houses real fast. Set up a woodcutter there. And I almost forgot the most important thing. I need to get a log pile going right there. That was a blunder on my part. And we'll go ahead and just have them start working on building some paths here. Uh, now that they've got that all going, might as well put a house in there. Again, I'm not going to be completely evil. There's a campfire for them to help them with their social life. Not sure if that really does anything, but we'll see. And, uh, next thing I'll want to do is the farm. We'll need to get a farm in. Right about there should be fine. Alright, and so now we just have to wait for our beavers to get enough wood to start building. We'll go ahead and cut this down to only three builders immediately, as we're mainly just waiting for them to get enough wood. To build. Wood will be wood and the number of beavers we have will become our main limiting factors here in the near future. Since we've got a water pump in, I'll cut that lumberjack post down to one beaver. That way we get one person working that pump now. And we'll just keep letting our beavers build here and hopefully they'll get a good amount done. There we go. Just got the everything of the tutorial done, and just move along to the next stage. I want to get a house there and a house there. Need another. I'll build that. We're going to uh, need to get a carpenter up and running as soon as possible, so we'll get a water wheel set up there. I mean, I could have, I guess, gone with a uh, power wheel, but that would eat up one worker overall. And I don't want to have to worry about needing that worker later. 
so I'll make the sacrifice of 10 extra logs to go with water power for now. For now on to day two. The earliest I think we'll see our beavers maybe have any birth rate will be on uh, day four at the earliest would be. But, as it stands, we have eight adults and three kids. Uh, by the end of today, they should hopefully get our science hut up and running. We'll get someone working on the science immediately. And hopefully, we'll also get one uh, house up today as well. Cut that down to just two builders right now. The first science we'll unlock will be the forester because we need to start growing trees almost immediately. Uh, I guess we won't get a house. Oh, we got one house built. Alright. Uh... But yes, the main plan for this is the first dry season that we experience, it's very short, you can survive just by damming this river up, and you'll survive it easy. The biggest issue comes from the second dry season, which is much longer, and it's just much more severe. What we're going to do is push these beavers to the max, try to dam up along this pass here, make a two level high dam over here to attempt to store as much water as we can in our starting area. So we'll mainly end up moving onto the higher levels here where we will start rebuilding our society so to speak. We'll turn everything up here into our farming area, we'll uh, put quite a few our central hub sort of will be in here, and we'll have a decent society running over here as well. That is if all goes well. It's going to take a while though to grow at quickly, and again the main thing that will uh, really impact us is how many kids our beavers have. We currently have eight adults and three kids still, two houses are done, that's nearing completion. Uh, I will want to plant some carrots, let's go ahead and just turn this entire area and take carrot feeds. That will be more than enough fields for us, but I just don't feel like dealing with that after this point. Should have the fourth house done by the end of today. So now everybody will have a house at least. Whether or not that will encourage them to have kids, we will see. We're up to 18 signs, so it will still take a little bit of time till. uh... We can research our uh, forestry. We have currently three lumberjacks. Uh, just had another kid grow up. It's currently jobless, which is sort of interesting. To me. Okay, he became a lumberjack. Looks like he went to the one up here, which is good. They're now working on the fifth home, which is nice. And I think that this is probably a good place to end the first episode. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.